Good afternoon everyone, Philip from Blackpool Markets here, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, just a bit of a video, this is a, we'll be working more on a bit of a training psychology uh, and also how to make the, you know, how to get potential opportunities out of the market. So this whole video will be based on how to catch a falling knife. Uh, so what I mean by this is, is when the market is in a downtrend, how do you catch it from, uh, how do you catch an uptrend or how do you uh, tell when the market is about to turn around or how do you, you know, how do you catch the bottom of the market? Uh, so what you guys can see, this is a little bit different. So I'm still on my uh, Black Bull Markets MT4 uh, or MetaTrader 4 platform. I just covered up the top so you guys can't see what currency pair it is. I've also covered up the bottom uh, so, you, so you also can't see what currency pair it is. And I've put my, my face right across. I'm not sure if you guys can, uh, if I'm pointing at the right area or somewhere. Um, I've put it over the, the currency pair so you can't see what it is. So you guys don't have a, have a clue of what I'm looking at. Uh, just so there's, you know, so you, so you don't uh, know what's going to happen next. So, uh, just like I said, this whole video is going to be on how to catch a falling knife. So you can see I've got my line here, the blue uh, vertical line. So this line is sort of, I just put that there. So this is when the start of the the big downtrend market is going to be uh, be coming. Uh, and then I'll take you guys through st uh, almost so step by step. And then what I want you guys to do is I want you to take a guess or try and take a guess of whenever you think the market is going to turn around or do your best as to sort of, like I said, catch the falling knife and catch that big uptrend move. Uh, so I'll start it off, take you through tick by tick, or uh, rather step by step, and I'll let you guys have a guess. So we'll dive straight into it. So you can see we have got our falling, uh, the market starting in a downtrend here. And I will take you through here just step by step so you guys can sort of have an idea. So you can see the market has started a downtrend and you guys uh, will try and guess when this market's going to turn around. So whenever you guys think it's going to turn around, see there's some good good up move ups, uh, retracement, and again, we have made, look, another promising big candles, and again, big push to the downside. Uh, again, bit of a retracement. Is it a retracement or is it a turnaround? We'll see, again, big move to the downside. Uh, coming across further down, uh, again, nothing but retracements, maybe a bit promising here, and again, lower lows. Uh, you can see it's starting to move, and again, a bit of a consolidation. We'll see as it's going to start moving up from here, and it keeps making another low. Again, uh, lower. Bit of a, is that it? Looks like it's not. Keeps going lower. Uh, up retracement. Is it a retracement, or is it going to make a new looking promising? We'll see. Does look good. Uh, could that be a retracement to the new uptrend? And again, coming down to this to this level over here, uh, sort of a double bottom, potential move to the upside, and again making a big uh, red bearish candle to the downside, breaking past, so further move to the downside. Big uh, bullish candle to the upside, let's have a look. It does look, oh, and okay, it's broken through down again, again, up. This is looking good, a uh, bit of, there we go, that looks good, doesn't it? So we'll see what happens here, so let's keep going. And another lower low. Again, looking promising. Higher. Looks good. And again, a big move downside, making another low, going past our previous low. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks good. Potential. And there we go. That's, that's the end of it. Uh, so if you guys are not sure what it is, I'll tell you what this currency is. It is the pound dollar. Uh, so the GBP USD. This is on the four-hour bar chart, as you guys can see up there. Uh, so the big, <laughs> the big thing I want to tell you guys is it is very hard to catch a falling knife. That is the story. Unless you have a crystal ball or you can tell the future, you will be able to catch a falling knife. But other than that, you know, your biggest chance uh, is, is just to continue following that, that, uh, that trend. So, for example, if I was to, uh, let me see if I can find something. This is a little pebble from our uh, little plant. So, if I drop this pebble, if I let go of it, what is the chance it's going to stop and come back up again? It's most likely it's going to keep falling until it hits the ground. Uh, now, unfortunately, in trading, there is not a there's not a ground, so there's there's nothing for it to hit. It can continue keep going down. It can continue in the downtrend. Uh, 
so there's not really a, a unless, like I said, unless you have a crystal ball. I mean, this again could be a good potential move to the upside. But again, we've had similar moves to the upside, and again, we were disappointed, and the trend just kept moving down. So, but what I can do for you guys, I can take you back to where we were. So here it is, and I can actually show you guys some some potential entries on how we can continue, sort of reboard the train uh, and continue right along this big downtrend to the bottom. Uh, so I'll take you through uh, step by step again and show you guys how we can actually enter the move to the downside. So again, we can see this move to the downside. Uh, even over here, we could have maybe put a channel on. Uh, obviously, we would have gotten stopped out right over there. Uh, depending on where you put your stop loss, if you did put your stop loss a little bit higher, you could have actually caught this move. Uh, but you see it made sort of a, so obviously stopped out. Uh, but again, if you had a, if you entered on, on the break of this, so this was sort of a uh, uh, bit of an ugly one, but it's, it's sort of a consolidation we had, a sideways consolidation, uh, more or less. I'm not really happy with it. So probably, in my opinion, I would not have entered this. Uh, but still a break to the downside, so you could have caught it on the break of that, that, new, uh, that new or that previous low. So we'll take, get rid of that. So that was not a very pretty trade. So we'll keep looking for more opportunity. Uh, this looks promising. So this looks quite good. Yeah, there we go. So this was, this was quite a nice one. Another sort of channel to the downside. Uh, or a flag, whatever you guys want to call it. So you can see it did end up breaking. If you put your stop below this low, bit of testing your testing your uh, patience or your, your your psychology and again it would have uh, so it would have broken you could have even have entered this trade based on this sort of uh, uh, channel we had over here again a break of the channel and a continuing move to the downside so this is a very common pattern lately I've actually been trading this pattern quite a lot which is just a channel um, in the opposite di direction of the trend or you can even trade it you know breaks of the previous highs or the previous lows sorry so I mean you know a break here putting your stop loss at that point um, again, there's another op opportunity here at the break, obviously putting your stop loss and quite interesting. So at a break, there is a bounce again on that line. So what I'm talking about this is we have our, you can see it, ha we've got a low, a break, and it retests that area and gives us that red candle or bu uh, bullish candle. Obviously this works in the opposite direction as well. Um, oh, it works best works in a trending market. So if you see, so usually not, not very good in consolidating markets so in a trending market, but uh, I'll just con so let me let me just get, get back to this. So like I said, in a trading market, it works its best. So you can see a breakthrough to the remove this a breakthrough to the downside of that previous low, uh, retest and another and move to the downside. So you can see this continues to happen, a break of that low and a contesting a testing that that zone again and then moving further, and you can see this just keeps continuing and continuing. Let me just get this. There we go. So you can see there a break, bit of a test. So it did actually hinder on this and it made a move. Obviously, uh, if you had your stops right, you know, you need to manage your risk because you can see you had one, uh, two, potential three, uh, three successful trades. Obviously, you could have had this earlier as well with breaks um, and obviously tests as well. So you can see it sort of did break over here. There was a nice break as well. Uh, here again, um, a bit, bit difficult to do here, but I mean you had, so you can see you've had quite a good few entries and then obviously you need to, to wait out. But here we can actually see a very nice looking channel. Uh, just draw it for you guys if you can't see it. Uh, so we'll just, uh, there we go. So you can see it is actually a quite a good, a very, very nice channel uh, consolidating within these two parallel lines. Uh, pull it a bit more. Uh, but usually you put your stop loss at the low after that, so you had a break, you put a low, uh, sort of a retest of that channel, I say, or a re-break, you could have entered again, or uh, at a, you know, if you had tighter stop losses, you could have t uh, uh, taken that trade as well. Obviously, for me, I prefer to put my stop losses down there, um, and then you could see again tests your patience, but that's all right, and another break through uh, to the side, to the downside, and again we had that sort of. You can see, so not really any trades. You could have potentially ended here, but obviously, uh, you know, it would have hit your stop loss. So here we've got consolidation. So I said, uh, no, market doesn't really work too well in that area. So a break, you can see with no uh, no support or no retest of that zone. So I mean, here, obviously, we had to wait a bit and see what is going on. So uh, we'll just, not really any opportunities here. 
Um, and then we had this beautiful pattern over here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but this is actually a very good looking uh, head and shoulders. I really, this is a very nice he looking head and shoulders. So you can see we've got our neckline uh, moving up to, so here we have our left shoulder moving down to our neckline as I've drawn it over here. This one has a bit of a, a broke breakthrough of that neckline uh, coming up to the head, moving back down to our neckline, uh, nice bounce on it and again up to our shoulder so a bit of a, a bit of a big right shoulder but I mean after that nice big red candle you can see it is a very this is a very uh, I believe it's called a hanging man so this is a very uh, common or it's a very uh, a lot of people use this candlestick pattern over here sort of it shows um, a reversal point in the market so obviously because we're on a downtrend the biggest chances are the market is going on a downtrend so usually you know if the market like I said in the market if the market's in a downtrend 80% of the time or 70% of the time the market's going to continue in that downtrend like I showed you before if I drop the pebble what are the chances it's going to before it hits the floor it's going to come back up again not a lot and like I said in trading there's no floor to hit so I can continue to break down or break back to the downside or in the direction of the trend um, obviously we can sort of use the floor which can be our potential support areas or resistance areas if it's an uptrending market but uh, anyway, so you could have taken the trade here, put your stop loss above uh, that candle over here and continued uh, to trade here. Even catching this trade here at the break of the neckline, uh, catching a nice further downtrend. So that was a good, very good couple of trades. We've got one, two entry points over here to continue the downside and then coming again with a third entry, breaking this double bottom. We had a bit of a test, candle closed just right below it on the same level as the previous low. Uh, and then a big break with a bit of a retest as well. Um, so we've got one, uh, two entries. So usually when I do take these, uh, the head and the, the breaks on bigger scales, so breaks of the double bottoms or double tops on bigger scales, I tend to put my stop losses close to the nearest support or resistance area. So this was here. So my stop loss would have been around about here um, in this area over here. So I'll just draw this if you guys are not really with me. Um, so around right about the area over here is where my stop loss would have been. Most likely, I would have put it uh, just below the base of these, these, these candles over here. So you can see um, nothing, nothing there. So we had a test, a break, so a pro possible re-entry. Uh, this is a very nice test as well, possible re-entry as well. Um, if you were a bit more aggressive, you could have entered on this move or entered at the down, uh, down move of this, this market. So again, we can see... And then here we had the turnaround. So here we have back to where we started. So guys, the whole point of the story, the, this whole video that I'm trying to make is, in my opinion, try not to catch a falling knife unless you are very good at it, unless you've back tested a strategy and you have, and it does work for you. Um, but if you are new to trading and you've never really done any, uh, you don't really see consistency as you're in trading, my advice I can sort of give you is try not to catch a falling knife. It is. It's extremely hard, especially for us, um, not especially, but um, also for more advanced and skilled traders uh, such as myself. Um, and if you listen to all these, to all other big traders, you know, it's hard to catch the bottoms of the market. You do have a lot of, um, there are a lot of patterns that indicate, you know, turnaround, turnaround points in the market, but my bias is always in the direction of the train. So I always try to reboard the train. Um, because that's, that's the direction the market's going. So um, th I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope this does help you guys a lot. I've seen a lot of people burn themselves in the market like this, blown their accounts a couple of times. Uh, so, you know, I really thought this video will help a lot. We can see, while I'm at this, I can see there could be a possible retest of this break. So, I mean, we'll see if it does bounce, you know, potential continuation this downtrend. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I mean, it, now that I, I didn't actually see this before until I've drawn this line. So this video has helped both you and me so I'll look for potential bounces on this line if it does break through you know we'll see what happens um, like I said there's always an option for both sides of the trade but majority of the time the market will continue on that downtrend as we've seen in this little test we had uh, so like I said guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video I hope this video does help you out a lot in your trading if you guys did like it please do give us a thumbs up don't forget to click that subscribe button click the little bell icon to get new notifications of whenever we release new videos also tell all your trading buddies and your trading friends about us uh, we'll be very keen to onboard any of them as well and uh, these videos in general just help out a lot of traders as well we've got a lot of big clients from us telling me that 
you know these videos are helping them a lot so if you guys do want to get in touch with us please do so you can hop online at blackbullmarkets.com click the little green button that says live chat have a chat with us or you could contact me with my details provided down below in the description of the video or if you guys want to uh, if email is a bit easier for you you just want to email us a general question or any inquiries please do so at support at blackbullmarkets.com and we will get back to you as soon as we can all right guys uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the rest of your trading week. Or if you're on holiday, I hope you guys enjoy that as well. And from everyone here at Blackpool Markets, safe tra trading and thanks for watching. Thanks.